Yeah, Zach, uh, basically we obtained a contract showing that Iowa State University paid $35,000 for Edward Snowden to make a digital appearance on March 4th of this year. Uh, and then he also got paid uh, to go to a cryptocurrency conference uh, and then uh, $25,000 for a real estate seminar. Uh, he also started a Substack, and this is all happening after a court ruling that was a year ago today um, that basically put a permanent injunction on these kinds of things because he first has to clear this with his former employers. Uh, Michael, I, I know you've been following this story very closely, but it's been, what, nearly seven years since Edward Snowden uh, became a household name. Um, what's the status of the criminal charges against him? Yeah, so this civil case that we're talking about here are separate from the criminal charges. Uh, they were filed in the same district in Virginia, uh, but they have not been adjudicated uh, since Snowden uh, has avoided arrest. He's lived in uh, Russia uh, since June of 2013. So these charges of theft of government property, unauthorized communication of national de defense uh, information and uh, willful communication of classified information uh, to unauthorized people um, are just kind of sitting there and, and it's unlikely to be settled unless he's allowed to leave Russia for some reason. Yeah, I mean, rules clearly haven't stopped uh, Edward Snowden in the past, but you know, north of $30,000 is quite a bit to be paid to speak uh, at any school here. I mean, what, what kind of things are off limits technically uh, when it comes to speeches he's able to give? Yeah, that, that's a great question. Uh, that's a, a little unclear based on this, but uh, you know, we see former intelligence officials on Twitter and TV, so it's, it's not like they're muzzled. Uh, when we asked the CIA about this, they, they basically pointed to their rules that say uh, what's off limits is any and all materials uh, intended to share with the public that are intelligence related or concern topics on which they had access to classified information uh, while employed by the CIA. CIA. So uh, for this court ruling, they identified 56 individual speeches uh, that uh, broke this agreement. Um, and that's about 80% of the speeches that they evaluated. So whatever the underlying criteria for what's called this pre-publication review that the government is using here and the judge agreed to, uh, that, that applies to most of his speeches. Uh, and then another point here is that his speech to, to Iowa, his speech at a cryptocurrency conference, uh, and his speech, uh, the real estate seminar is a little different, but basically, particularly to universities, he recycles a lot of stuff. He, he, he has... Uh, <laughs> images that he puts on screen and things like that. So he's drawing on uh, his his own cachet as a, a, a former CIA uh, technician and NSA contractor. Yeah, still rolling out the greatest hits there for what made him a household name, as Kiko said. Uh, but Michael Kelly bringing us the latest there on Snowden Watch. Appreciate that.